Okay, What's laughter aside, uh, first story we're talking about is the San Bernardino shooting in San Bernardino, obviously, uh, here in California, where a man uh, went into a classroom, elementary school classroom, and opened fire on his wife. Um, I don't know if inadvertently or what, um, but hit another child who was standing behind her and some another child who was standing near um, the eight year old. The first um, that was hit was um, fortunately killed, as was the wife. Um, and it looks like he then turned the gun on himself. Uh, so this happened. Do you know? Um, this was on Monday, was Monday yes. um, and so more and more information is kind of trickling out about what the situation was, um, but I think it doesn't, I, I don't know if this is the case for you, but in terms of like what's gobbling up the news cycle, it doesn't seem like this is getting a whole bunch of play, um, it, mainly because if we can compare this to the last San Bernardino shooting, mm -hmm. uh, where the shooters were uh, Muslim, mm -hmm. um, that was all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not necessarily the case this time. Um, well, the interesting parallel that I, uh, when, when this, when I wanted to talk about this with you specifically was because I am words, the things with words that mm. I'm trying to do, it's not working. Let me try to back that up and try it again. Um, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you specifically about this because it's something that came up in a show, I think last week when we were discussing, when you guys were discussing uh, Latina Herring's death. Um, right. It's sort of interesting. This was the woman who was allegedly told to stop calling 911 after right. uh, the police had come out to work out a conflict between her and her partner uh, who was eventually killed. Yes. So her partner, uh, three hours or so after she asks the cops to help her get her keys back from her house, her partner, her boyfriend comes in and shoots up her family, killing her and two other people and or one other, her son, her and son, then wounding four other family members. So right. Within two weeks now, we have stories of black women who have been shot to death by their husbands or boyfriends. And um, unfortunately, as I was, I, I was trying to write this up for, for the website, and I was just thinking about how what's the interesting thing about these stories is not what happened to them, unfortunately. It's, a, it's how it happened that made it catch the attention of news, because right. this is happening all the time. and. So many of these stories don't get any kind of attention. I mean, I, I would say for sure that the circumstances of a school shooting, essentially like that, that framework for the this, this San Bernardino killing was was part of the reason why it hit the news at all. I, and, yeah, I would agree with that. I think sp because it was a school shooting and the combination of San Bernardino now having name recognition right. because of the other incident exactly. contributed to that. And but under normal circumstances, we know... Yeah, exactly. Under normal circumstances, we know that the, these things happen so often they can't be reported in the way that this right. incident was. Right. And even with Latina Herring's death, uh, it was a matter. It was the fact that there was recording of her right. on video, on police camera video, saying, you know, please help us. And, it, and the cops appeared to be saying, stop calling 911 about this, um, about matters you don't know anything about. Apparently, uh, investigation. Allegedly. Um, <laughs> allegedly, investigation has, has revealed that upon further examination of the video camera, um, the, the footage there was a caller on the phone who was who kept calling 911 to get an update on Herring's situation which would seem to highlight the fact that she was indeed in danger because here's somebody else calling 911 saying this woman needs help and yet they're like no i mean you know you talked about the like it's a toss up of whether the cops will take the side of the black man or the black woman and um the the dichotomy between herring and and karen smith in san bernardino is also interesting karen smith is an older black woman she is a professional school teacher she's done all this great work with special needs kids and she's a wonderful upstanding member of her community meanwhile when we were talking about herring it came up like oh well they probably thought she might have been a little intoxicated at the time if she's coming back from a club how much you know how much weight are they going to put on her words and here it is two women publicly enough dead because we don't want to believe women we just don't and we refuse to and it's just 
I, I, it leaves me, I, I'm sort of like, what do we, what do we, can we get proof besides our dead bodies that, that you need to believe us? Can we get right. some proof be, before that happens? Yeah. What more needs to occur before you believe a woman who says that, um, that she's in danger. This is actually related to something I was um, talking to my mom about over the weekend where she was, I, I was like, you know, if there's any evidence that I can attest to personally that sexuality is not a choice, it is that I'm attracted to men because my word is that an inconvenience mm -hmm. um, in, yeah. in like, and can be inherently dangerous. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and she was like, well, it's not true. Like, Hashtag not all men. And I right. was just like, yeah, but they yeah. all look the same. Well, that's the thing is, I mean, as as the story unravels, you know, of course, they're painting this black man uh, as a villain and talking about, you know, oh, his past criminal charges. And and, you know, there was violence in his past and possible drug use, of course, in his past. Like they're not talking about his mental instability notice uh, because, you know, he's black. And it's hard mm. because there's that line too, which I think black women, we, we talk about this a lot, black women are faced with like, do we support our black people or do we <laughs> hold out for our own personal individual safety? 